All right, so there's a few things I'm pretty sure you guys missed in this episode with Chill Systems and Shark Tank, and I'm going to go over a couple of them. There's a reason why uh, Robert is looking super, super frustrated. There's a reason why Kevin started pretty much getting to the part where they were about to um, curse the Chill Systems guys out. So first thing they lied about, or maybe they didn't even do their research before they came on the show, they said that they didn't have any real competitors. They said that they only had uh, ICE as a competitor. I don't know if that was supposed to be a joke or something, but there are many drink competitors, and I'm going to show you a couple of those. But I'm also going to show you how they could have positioned themselves to not even have to go on a show. So keep watching. All right, so this is a competitor. It's called Icy Breeze. This is called Beats. It pretty much does the exact same thing. If you watch the episode and you look at their cooler, hold on, let me get, I'm trying not to get demonetized uh, right here. All right, so as you can see, uh, theirs has three slots in it, but if you flip it over, it's just like this where you can stick the actual wine bottle uh, vertically inside, okay? So it, it's pretty much the exact same technically you know, this comes with a bottle opener, twist off teeth, all types of stuff, you know. Uh, then this one right here, this is premium Lavella, okay? Uh, but this is something different, but hey, you can use it. And then here's one right here, VTEL source right here, okay? So there are, are plenty portable drink coolers, but if they didn't want to go on Shark Tank and make a fool of themselves because they literally got done dirty, they were making fun of them and all of that. It's kind of disrespectful, guys. But this is what they could have did. First thing they should have did first is position themselves so they can have proof of concept. All right? They should have ranked on the first page of Google for portable drink cooler. All right? <clears throat> we would have uh, ranked on the first page of Google for all of these. Portable drink cooler, instant drink cooler, insulated portable beverage cooler, uh, small portable beer cooler, these things like that are the ones that they should rank on the first page of Google for. What do I mean by that? Well, you follow the path of success. There's a reason why Amazon spends million, well, actually billions of dollars on their SEO campaigns. As you can see, most of the links on the first page of Google for a portable cooler are Amazon links or uh, some type of department store type of link. You see what I'm saying? So Amazon has a paid ad right here for a portable cooler, and they have a huge SEO campaign going for portable coolers. So this is what Chill Systems could have did before they came on the show. And then that way they would have had the numbers. So even if Mr. Wonderful or Robert thought that their uh, <laughs> product was crap or whatever, they would be able to back it up by numbers and say, well, at least our rankings from Google uh, have generated this amount of sales or that amount of sales. So even if you guys think the idea is stupid, uh, Mr. Wonderful, you always say that you're a numbers guy, right? So pay attention to the numbers and give me my deal. But they can still avoid getting a deal all together just by doing this and start generating some sales. All right, love you guys.